a look at where the $787 billion in government stimulus money is going. We've been trying to keep track of it for you, and you're not going to like this. Some itty-bitty airports are getting federal dollars by the plane load. Our senior congressional correspondent, Jonathan Carl, has more on that. Welcome to the Greenbrier Valley Airport, gateway to the posh Greenbrier Resort, a place where rooms start at 500 bucks a night. The airport is about to get more than $2 million in stimulus funds to spruce up the terminal building. There are only two commercial flights a day, like this one here at the Greenbrier Airport, and on average, each of those planes only has about three to nine passengers. And on this flight, the airport workers load a single piece of luggage. There are two pilots and two passengers. Your tax dollars keep this airport in business. In addition to the stimulus money, the federal government subsidizes commercial flights here to the tune of about $562 per passenger. Locals say the money is well spent. The most important thing we can have is an easier way for guests to get to the Greenbrier. That doesn't benefit just the Greenbrier. It benefits the entire region. In Alaska, millions of tax dollars are going to airports that make the Greenbrier look like O'Hare. ABC News visited Ozinki Airport, which just hit the stimulus jackpot with $15 million. That's $100,000 for each of the town's 150 residents, even though there is another airport just 30 minutes away. That's an awful lot of money for just a little village, you know. <laughs> I, I don't know how it happened, but it happened. It happened after the state applied to the FAA for its piece of the stimulus pie. Several other tiny Alaska airports got money as well. Our rural citizens have the same needs as our urban citizens, and we are not the, in a position to judge which are, which are more important. But critics call them airports to nowhere. The most famous is the John Murtha Airport in western Pennsylvania, a monument to powerful Democratic Congressman John Murtha that has received more than $17 million in federal money over several years. When we visited Murtha Airport earlier this year, the place looked like a ghost town. We have rented a car, but the Hertz counter is as deserted as the rest of the airport. So we placed a call, and we are told that a Hertz representative will be coming from downtown Johnstown to give us the key for our vehicle, which we believe is parked out in the parking lot. We eventually got our car, and Murtha Airport picked up another $800,000 in stimulus money. Just yesterday, the Senate had a chance to strip money from the Murtha Airport. It was an amendment offered by Republican Jim DeMint that it would have ended the $1.4 million in annual subsidies that that airport gets for its flights to Washington, D.C. But the amendment, Diane and Robin, was rejected by a vote of 43 to 53. So thanks to your tax dollars, the Murtha Airport lives on.